Hi, so have you a look again at this conductive ink? Here's a really neat little project that we came up with that we thought was quite cool. So I'll just show you quickly. What I've got here is a lamp attached to a piece of paper. If I touch that paper, the light comes on. Touch it again, the light goes off. So it's really easy to make a touch switch out of this ink. All you really have to do is get yourself a piece of paper and paint a square of ink on it. So I'm just using a piece of white card to do this. You could equally use the wall or absolutely anything at all that this will paint onto. So I'm just taking a piece of card and painting a square of the conductive ink. You don't need to be too careful with it. Just paint on a blob. Now we're going to need to connect to it. So I'm going to put a line into the edge so that we can make an easy connection to it. And once you've done that, just leave it to dry. Once you've given it a chance to dry, all you actually do is connect up the switch sensor to it, flip it over, and then I've got this connected to a light. Plug it in and then touch the paper. And the light comes on, touch it again, it goes off. So there we go. A touch switch made with conductive ink. God, it actually works because of this thing. This is a pre-bought touch sensor. Uh, they cost about a pound on eBay, and when you get the touch sensor, it's essentially a box, and out of it come four wires. This one is yellow, and we have red, black, white. The colours will change depending on which one that you buy, but they're essentially the same thing. The red is obviously the live, and that one goes to your live supply. Your live supply is the thing that plugs into your wall, so that goes on the plug. This black one is your neutral, and you send one to the neutral supply, and out of there you also branch off so that you've got one going to your actual lamp, so the neutral on your lamp. In the UK these ones are blue, so basically you connect the two blue ones up to the black one, this one is brown in the UK, you connect the brown one up to the red one. Now this one is your white one, and that connects to the other side of your lamp, and that connects to the brown one of the lamp. And that's how you wire it up. This one, the yellow one, is what connects to the touch blade. So if we connect that to our painted square, and we touch our painted square, then that lamp will light. Now these ones are rated for certain voltages and certain amperages, obviously. So if you're using a high amperage lamp, you're going to need a different one, one that's got a bit more power to it. But for your bog standard bedside lamp or uh, lamp in the middle of your room, this is going to work really, really well. Now the thing about this is, it can be anywhere. It doesn't actually have to be in the conventional position that a light switch was. It can be anywhere that that paint can reach. When you paint this, you can paint it in little circles if you like. You can paint it in butterflies, any shape that you want. Now, it's best off if you put a protective membrane over it. Now, there's no real chance of electrocuting yourself, but it's a capacitive switch, in fact. So if you put a protective membrane over it, it's still going to work. You use sticky back plastic, or you can just flip the piece of paper over and you touch the piece of paper, in which case you change the capacitance and the light will come on. So it works as simply as that. OK, so that's it on the board. Let's have a look at it in actual practice. So here is the unit itself for the terminal block. One side is going to the actual lamp here, and the other side is going to the actual socket here. That's what plugs into your wall. If you look at that one that goes to your wall, we've got a brown wire at the top there and a blue wire. That brown wire is connected to the red one, which goes into my sensor. That blue wire is connected to the blue wire of the lamp, as you can see here, and it's connected to the black wire of the sensor. That's the neutral. So the brown wire, the live, and the blue wire is the neutral. Now the live from the actual lamp, if you can see, it connects to the white there of the sensor block. And that's the connection that's made up and what it looks like in practice. The only thing left is this yellow wire. This yellow wire is connected up to our painted square, which we've flipped over. So if I plug that in and touch the piece of paper, it comes on. <laughs> touch it, it goes off. Now that's a really nice and easy project that I can see having a load of uses. Uh, I'm probably going to take one of these home, actually, paint a light switch, remove it, uh, paint one of these on my wall and make sure that I have no more light switches in my house that you just go in and touch the wallpaper and the light will go off and on. So I'm kind of going to do that and I'll do that as a follow-up video. But another thing occurred to me is that this would actually make a really good kit should anybody want it. 
So what we're probably going to do is put this together as a little kit on the shop so you can always buy it if you want. Anyway, I thought that was interesting and I hope you did too. Thank you very much for watching.